Hello everybody. Thank you very much for joining me again. In this video, I'll show you a very awesome website if you are into AutoCAD, which is basically me. Um, AutoCAD is, is a piece of software for Windows, for Linux, or possibly Mac, where you can create designs. And the CAD stands for Computer Aid um, Designs. I think that's, that's, that's the description or that's the abbreviation. Let's actually double check meaning of cad uh did it did it did it cad okay cad is uh refers to user comfort as design and things such as cars building machine and basically um computer aided design here you go so there is a website by the name of onshape one of my viewers left me a comment about this website that you can create designs uh, you can basically create anything uh, about a blueprint of on anything you can create a blueprint of the car a piece of the equipment a piece of the part like a part of the machine etc so even what you see here it gives you like a little um video if i scroll down you go that's what you can design on inside on shape and you can design this and and the, and the camera looks like a camera and the big truck trailer and a part of the fishing rod which is brilliant um uh, and this website or this company on shape they have the i'm just checking if i'm recording um they have an app created as well so what we're going to do we're going to start with the app first and then i will show you the amazing web version of this so let's close it um app is free to download when downloaded off the google play store is asking you to create an account um you can create a free account and free account has some limitations like um one of them all your designs will be public if you're trying to create something that you want to be a top secret you need to go with the paid version which I will show you later the prices of the paid version so it's gonna be up to you if you want to go with the paid version or no right so you create an account and I'll show you later how to create an account and and basically after I received the comment I tried to create an account and I couldn't so I sent an email to Onshape saying hello I I create videos about decks and etc one of my viewers suggested your link and you have a web based um software with a like i'd like to try etc et so they gave me 15 days trial so as soon as i received an email from them that my trial is activated i went to the youtube and started looking for tutorials what i'm about to show you basically what i learned in the past couple of hours or so what i can do with the on shape so let's see how it goes right so uh, app is running app is free uh, on a google play store and goes in a full screen mode without no problems so if i go back to my home i have a couple options here trash tutorials public share with me share with me created by me recently open etc so i'm going to say plus sign and i'm going to create a new document and let's call it uh, what we're going to create i'm wondering now what is easy to create um I do. All right. I'll, I will try to create a blueprint of the battery. It should be easy. It's just a cylinder with a little pin at the top. Let's go. So we're going to call it double uh, A for battery, double A battery. So it opens up. Uh, come on. Yes, opens up. And I have a white uh, blank canvas with the front, top and right. It's basically a 3D view of this. And I have an option top right to change it to a uh, front, top, uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to say I want to see this from the right side. No, sorry, I need to look from the top because I need to create a cylinder. So you go, I got this one set up. Uh, if I click on this, it opens the sketch. I need to select the top. That's going to be my, my starting position of the sketch. And I want to create a circle starting from here and about this okay uh, i done that so right now using a right mouse button i can move around to see what's happening and by the way zoom in and out on the wheel mouse wheel not working pretty much i not found any keyboard shortcut that will work with this on the android app right okay so got this one set up so i have a cylinder let's go back to the top now i need to make instead of just a, like a like this which is a very thin line oops i need to create the cylinder so i need to select the top again 
okay let's say top and i want to select top i don't want to see right so from the top i select the sketch and i say this button and extrude what that does is creates like this this creates this uh so how 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 much this battery i don't have any rule or anything around me so let's say this is about I don't know three centimeters maybe two inches let's say two inches so by here I have an option I hope the camera can don't block this but there is an option here where I can add two inches boom actually there's an option for me to change two centimeters so I'll say this is about three centimeters okay that's even worse uh, is it really three centimeters how I need to do I have any way rule or anything? No. Anyway, let's do. Let's make it a bit bigger. Let's make four centimeters. Uh, okay. And I forgot that I need to uh, do the sketch, uh, the actual cylinder. Extrude. Uh, okay. Um, do, 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 do. I need to change the dimensions. Show dimensions. Anyway, on the app, I watched the tutorials on the web browser and I'm trying to, what I learned on, to be done on the web browser, I'm trying to basically use them inside this app and don't really, um, I'm not really doing well. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, okay, okay, no, 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 I don't want to wanna do any more skills. I don't can't see how I can change diameter back to um, also there is a rollback function which is supposed to move it back and forward that doesn't really work I'm uh, because well it's 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 more on a touch screen and on a touch screen devices like your phone which is m might work better but I, I don't see this well let me put it in a different different way um. I can see this app that you're going to use this app to create something amazing um, for you just to do a small tweaks inside the app. Yes, possible. But if you want to start creating a big project like me trying just to create the battery, you need to go somewhere else and I'm just going to leave right app works fine up to a certain extent and um, like you created this cylinder, etc. This is fine. By the way, if you like go all the way you I can't there is no button to center or anything so if you go somewhere and leave it like like you see it keeps going keeps going keeps going and you're sort of stuck with that view you can't really on on the phone you use two fingers to move around and etc but on, on the on the decks it's a bit struggle so let's leave the app for now um, this app runs no problem the magic happens on the website so if I'm gonna log in let me uh, log in with my details. I'm just gonna make this disappear. So I need to log in. Uh, just give me two seconds. Uh, let me punch my password. I hope this is my password. Yes, so here you go, I logged in. So as you can see, uh, this is a web, web version of this. I'm logged in, I have my created battery which I tried in the app is auto syncs on here as you can see I have a subscription free and with the subscription right if you go directly to the website if I write on shape if you go directly to the website I'm like oh brilliant I want to use this uh, request a trial okay prices let's see your prices and you're like but mr. P you said it's free I don't have that amount of money well, yes, it's free, but if you go direct to a website, you won't find it. Well, I couldn't find the link to go and, and register as a free user. But if you do a search on Onshape, one of the results Google gives you, it says Onshape free plan. If you click on that link, it opens a different page and you can basically uh, get started, fill your details, it can be re real details, you can make a fake details. I don't think they're gonna moan about it. And you are in. Um, you will receive an email which says, "Do you want to activate your free account?" You click yes and etc. Because under products, 
and uh, enterprise obviously enterprise professional obviously professional uh, standard is standard and request the trial every way says request the trial request the trial request the trial so free is not really marketed I well it's, I, ca I couldn't find the free link to go and create a free account just from the main menu but Google gives me this link and basically what's happened is um, I got the uh, um, activation of my free trial so I started looking at YouTube videos about this tutorial and a couple of guys on YouTube they were saying oh it's free it's free and I'm like where you found that this free so <laughs> basically that's what it is um, to the tutorial video that I watched uh, and the guy explained all this in very good detailed um, video. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below if I'm not uh, forget that to do that. Anyway, let's go back. So I am inside the onshape page. Let's go back to my AA battery. So it opens up the page and straight away a couple of things that the website is better. Zoom in. You can zoom in and out and I think F is focus so it basically brings the, the, the your part or your sketch in, in in centered view. So now I need to select this and I think I need to select this. I need to select this uh, dimensions. I can remember. Brilliant. A container must involve something to sketch on. Okay. Uh, come on. So I want this and I want to change the resolution, no res dimension. So it says uh, letter D is for dimension. So you go, that's working. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like I said, I watched the video and I already forgot. So let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go and take that off. So come on, come on, come on. That's it. We back to uh, let's do a top. Let's draw this battery thing. Okay. So at the top level, I want to draw the circle starting from here, and now I can see dimensions. So this is where's my battery going? Here you go. I don't know half a centimeter. Let's do an inch. And if I click this, apparently. Here you go. Here you go. Double click one inch enter so this is right now one inch in diameter next thing i need to click yes uh, select sketch let's do extrude okay and this is gonna be <coughs> six six okay it's too big this battery is gonna be too big let's do four so this is four okay so we nearly there right next thing if i click on there and I click sketch and this is was tricky for me to to do before okay so I'm creating this pin on the top let's say here oh mouse goes nuts okay let's do there and now I need to do extrude and this is gonna be just 0 0.2 okay so this is my <laughs> this is my AA battery. Um, it's, the AA battery has the thing at the bottom, like a like a, a small rise something at the top at the bottom. Okay. So next thing again, I select the this sketch um, circle from here to um, there. Okay, again, when when you are AutoCAD professional, you you're gonna love this. I'm just I learn quickly, and I'm just trying <laughs> trying out to be honest. Uh, right, okay, this is needs to be 0 0.01. Just a very very fine line going up. Here you go in focus, and this is my energize battery on shape so um what i was planning to say website version of on shape runs brilliant everything is like i tried this quickly on the pc 
and the browser version of this is literally exactly the same so you can have a look play around and and look how um, how everybody else is doing and what I mean by everybody else doing this is a free version uh, I'm using a free version that means um, free version my sketches are public so if you have if you go to an option by the name public it's gonna retrieve loads of other people projects that are free for you to have a look and look at them I found one which is amazing Perrin L M P one car. I mean, somebody went and created a car. You go Raspberry Pi free model. But like you think, oh, this is nothing. This is just a the car model. But if I try to open that, and I think it's going to take forever. But let's let's see, let's see if I'm going to open up. Opens up, opens up, opens up. This is just a wheel, and there is an option. You can look the suspension. I mean somebody created this so detailed suspension parts i mean like what's this okay that's that let's go to um you go that's all the parts so let's have a look into the um i don't know what's this wheel rear is that the brake disc no some other model i mean the detail the amount is spent to create this it's unbelievable I mean somebody <laughs> somebody had to go and create this and possibly that's not been created inside the on shape you never know uh, look in focus oh my god amount of, amount of detail unbelievable so um, you created your masterpiece. There is an options. If uh, I'm, I'm trying to think what the guy was showing in the tutorial, just to try to demonstrate the same thing on a Dex. Um, you can export these things, uh, what you're creating, in multiple file formats. I'm just going to my on shape. Let's find my battery. Let's find my battery. Let's click here. Uh, copy. T T T T. Okay. Um, main what's this version oh by the way yeah it, it does a version history so if you go you've you done so much and you like uh, see it's, it's, it gives you like a stamp timestamp of every this is how it looks there there next I done this and it's and it just keeps going it's, it's creating you a history it's creating your history I'm just trying to find where it is um you can actually save it okay so right click share move send to trash share okay link to this etc uh, i mean it's so detailed it's probably the best ever autocad replacement and it is inside the browser on deck station um another thing if you close this browser and you open the browser desktop browser and you go to the on shape page. Oops, if I can spell it correctly. Go on shape. There is an F11. This goes full screen mode. So then your designs can go full screen mode. And you can play around. Amazing. I, I'm, I'm saying this is on shape. It's probably, like I said, the best thing uh, if you're looking for AutoCAD replacement and it's free well like I said with the free version you have some, you have some limitations because your uh, projects will be public etc etc but to play around and use it everywhere where is the internet and the browser it's an amazing thing so go have a have a try let me know in a comment section below what you think about it uh, obviously we are available on the reddit go find us on reddit uh, there's loads of people there asking questions sharing the experiences sending re recently they start posting images about their setup um, and if you think that my content is helping you please support me on patreon i will leave a link to my patreon account in the comment section below and should appear which way this way this way somewhere on the screen any second or probably already appeared where you can become a patron thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.